I'm Jennifer Burton. I'm a professor of the practice in film at Tufts University. So this process is basically we don't know exactly what we're going to find because it's documentary film work. So there's obviously a planning process that happens in the beginning where we can think through what people we want to interview, what are the documents we'd like to view, what are the spaces we want to film, and then you see what is the most exciting of that footage and how we can catalog it and edit it together in a way that will give people a sense of scholarship and this process that Darcy went through to write this book. In some ways, Darcy Thompson is like a film editor. He takes these different pieces of his own knowledge, of other people's knowledge, of images that he's collected, and he pastes them all together. It's very much like the old films, where we would literally cut the film and paste it together. And it's similar to his process of putting together this book. Basically, you follow the story in documentary filmmaking. Right now, we've been following the story about Darcy Thompson's life and going to his home in Dundee and seeing his grave where he was buried and seeing his home in St. Andrews, seeing his writings and going to the libraries that have his collections. So really kind of thinking of what are all the threads that we can access today and how can we use those to give a sense of this work as a whole, who wrote it, who read it, how it was valued during its time, and how we can bring out that value to people today. One challenge is showing how exciting some of the archival work is. You think of people in a library reading manuscripts, and it can be absolutely thrilling when you find something. We actually have one moment where Marie-Claire and I first encountered the scrapbook of Darcy Thompson's Glossary of Greek Birds, where he had pasted in birds and notes and has th many notes in his own hand. And both of us in the video go, <gasps> like this when we opened it up, because it was so amazing to think about this work that we've been thinking about in the abstract and suddenly to see it and be able to touch it is very thrilling. Imagine. Who knew? It's the second edition. Yeah. It's Imagine incredible. like everything there is to do with these overlapping folds and oh man, pasted things. This is a coin. That's fantastic. Welcome to Scotland. <laughs> Every person has a story. And as a filmmaker, you have the time and you have the space to think about what might that story be and how could I bring out that story.